see as a support. The oh, block still I mean, there. It's going to be the safe, the reliable, yeah. the Nautilus. Mickey so boring. You anyway. know we don't talk about <laughs> Hobbit videos. Yeah, I know, but I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, that's why you don't talk <laughs> about it. Because I think Poppy would have been great. Kazi, Flash, Kaiser, Flash as well. Here comes Mickey, needs to get the bonk. Not gonna find the dredge line, will connect. Body slam as well. Kaiser's now burning down from the ignite. Stunned out, one more auto. First blood to Cat, and they're not done just yet. That's a root onto Kazi. And now G2 will back away. But now looking in the top lane, we can see that Mad is trying to make a counter play on the opposite side of the map. Gigantic minion wave to work with. Wonder gets caught out, takes a lot of damage. Minions enlisted as well. The tower's helping out. Arome stays alive. A shadow needs to back away. The tower's there as well, and Wonder stays inside the Way. Perks does have TP, not using it. Shadow misses the Q, and Wonder's able to get out with his life. There's Warhammer already. Uh, meanwhile, Kazi only sitting with some attack speed. It's actually working out nicely for G2 okay. as they're able to sit on advantages in the bot side of the map. Rift Herald has been started. Four members of MAD are available. Humanoid can come in from the south. All five members of G2 are here. Here comes Yankos. That is a bajillion and a half Callista Spears. That rend should be able to do a lot of damage, but the Fate Call comes out. Defensive flashover from Yankos. The Herald will reset and repeat. Humanoid's going to be the target and he escapes for now. Ethereal Chains locked down perks and now G2 move away. 5v5. Shadow goes in. Forced to flash out. The Dragon's Rage not doing anything. Nobody dies and nor does the Rift yeah, I'm not really sure what happened there, but keep an eye on Mickey. He's gonna go in. Flash dredge line followed up. Humanoids burning down. The ignite should not be enough to kill him. And it looks like the Rift Herald was started by Mad. Have they got enough to finish it again? Ren stats combined with Smite. Double team those ones. Dredge line finds a target. Kaiser, no one. Wow, Cap stole, stole it! Stole it! Shadow escaped to the sliver of his life. Make it rain comes out. Shadow's in so much trouble, and now so is Arome. He gets taken out by Yankos. Blinded from that play as Caps just swaggers on up. Like, oh, we gotta get a slow mo of this. We I'm have to get it. A... Give you a slow clap. Mad Lions Look will at lift. This. Rend, Smite, and Caps is just like. Pew! You wanna go to town with me? No! Insta shot! <laughs> Unreal! It was literally like one of those oh. westerns, you know? Where Caps was like, it's time to draw! And then he just pew pew! Yeah, perfect. <laughs> it felt like I was in the Wild West, quick shot. Perfectly done. <laughs> I have to just give a credit for that. My Mad Lions are sieging in two lanes, so tower goes down in the top. Four members of Mad Lions going forward, and that's an unkillable Mad, but so does Wonder for the time being. Finally, he will go down. It's Humanoid that picks up the kill. He's able to escape for now. Here comes Yankos. Got the ultimate available and manages to lock down Arome. One for one. Kaiser gets dredge lined backwards, but the damage from Perks needs to follow up, and what goes up must go down. Yankos, 2-0-2. Two, two. One for Humanoid, who did a whole lot of damage onto Wonder just a moment ago. Oh, he's going for this. Shadow is now, there. Wonder's gonna be chasing, but look at this. Wonder's doing a lot of damage with the world in. That's just Ding level 11, but in a 2v1, like, that was pretty much going to happen. Yankos, however, he's brought a party! Humanoid can W back to the original Distort, and the target's going to be Shadow instead. He's going to be able to ward hop to safety for now. Not any damage, just Sejuani forward. and Nautilus. Exactly, <laughs> that's why I'm not ready. Oh, nice interrupt. Yet. Perks, however, has jumped onto Humanoid. Now Yankos is going to be zoned away. That's going to be the suppression stolen away from the uh, hijack, rather. Fate's call into Cosmic Radiance means Mad Lions. They have been able to find a punish on G2. Uh, over the because... wall, but it's not enough. And G2 end up losing so many kills. Now we see another fight in the bot lane. Let's see how this one pans out. Perks has got himself that hijacked showstopper looking oh, for the lead. Top. We've mentioned it several times already. But their team composition oh, nice. scales. Wow, that's a dead humanoid. No, it's not just yet. The ignite burning. I don't think that's enough just yet, especially not. not with the shield. I really thought humanoid was going down. You can see there's a lot of uh, deep vision invested on Mad towards the bot side of the drapes. They have a lot of flanking TPs, but there's no TP available. Meanwhile, humanoid has found perks. He has indeed a lot of damage returned, though. Here comes Kazi. Humanoid with the help of Kazi. They just blow perks up. And this is going to allow Mad Lions to siege in the mid lane. There will be some defense here from G2, but there's a Cloud Drake that can peel to Dredge Line. Catches out on Kazi. Cosmic Radiance comes down. That will save their lives. But for... uh, a lot of vision is being set up around this objective. So this gives a lot of control for man in the river, but a pick is now happening. It has indeed, and the boat is sinking as Humanoid gets taken out by Perks. Which means that right now the carries, because they do damage like this. Let's find out how much damage the chains are going to pop. That's going to kill him. Humanoid's going to sidestep everything that. Or because of the pick potential that Humanoid is able to exert right now. Still feels a little bit like 
G2 are waiting for their opportunity. Dredge That's gets huge. caught out. Humanoid, I'm sorry, I passed it. They cast a curse indeed, but the Conflagrators are doing a lot. Follow Kazi, follow Kazi! There are so many spears! The Red needs to do a lot of damage, though. Push the button! Manages to take down one of the caps. Kaiser and Kazi are doing so much work. Despite losing Humanoid, the Cosmic Radiance from Kaiser. At uh, first we were skeptical. Could G2, oh sorry, could Mad execute this very early game focus comp, but with, oh no. Oh, Blast Code didn't go well. Is there enough members of G2 nearby? No. Yankos will get skewered and that's some more bacon for the Mad Lions. They will be able to take out the boar. We're seeing how difficult it actually is for this G2 composition to team fight against Mad Comp and they go in onto Cass. So nicely done from Shadow. That was a great, great, great ward kick. And now we're always jumping onto Yang. Matt are just styling on G2 right now. Here comes another fight. Oh, Kaiser, that is such a good Cosmic Radiance again. I think every single Tarek Ultimate has been impactful. But now it is on cooldown. G2 Esports have an opportunity to respond. It has to be now. 10 seconds left for Baron. All three inhibitors are down. Shadow goes in. He finds Perks. Perks had Flash available, but he did not get an opportunity to use it. Shadow missed the Sonic Waves in the laning phase, but he did not miss them when the game needed to be delivered. And now the teleport's coming back in for Arome in the top lane. Caps will be trying to do some wave clear here. No ulti from Yankos, but Caps does have that bullet time available. And there goes the engage from Sed. Mickey's knocked up into the air, taken down. The bullet time simply will not do enough damage. First Nexus turret will get a kill. capitalize. Yep. And once Humanoid had created the space for Kazi and Kaiser to, you know, step up to the plate. They did. 407 on Kazi and Norome goes in with the help of the rest of the squad. Mickey is already dead. The Cosmic Raiders once again preventing any sort of reply from G2 Esports. Yankos goes down and Humanoid looks for yet another. Mad Lions, the ship has sailed. <laughs> And they take down G2. Impressive win from Mad. I was worried in the early game. I thought that they drafted a comp and they were not going to be able to execute upon it. But the moment that opportunity presented itself, they were quick to capitalize. They moved around the map extremely well.